Acme key locking threaded inserts are often compared to helically wound inserts like helicoil products. Both types of inserts are used for thread repair or to bolster the thread strength of the parent material like aluminum. So what's the difference? Let's look at strength, the potential for foreign object debris, and ease of installation and removal. Acme inserts are machined from solid steel bars and are locked into place in the parent material with locking keys. The formed wire of a helically wound insert acts like a spring and is only held in place by friction. Here is a pull-out test performed under laboratory conditions. The ram pushes on a fixture which pulls out a bolt that has been screwed into the insert's internal threads. First, a helicoil insert with a 1 quarter 20 internal thread is tested, failing at approximately 4,600 pounds. Note that the threads pulled out the aluminum parent material, which is visible between the coils. An Acme insert with a 1 quarter 20 internal thread did not fail in this test. However, the bolt in the test fixture broke at approximately 5,100 pounds. Installing a helicoil insert can be difficult and time-consuming. Installation involves drilling and tapping with special tools and inserting the helicoil insert into a special pre-winder tool and lining it up properly. Cross-threading by accident is often a problem. Helicoil inserts have tangs that need to be broken off after installation. These tangs can fall into the parent material, creating FOD, for an object debris, in the assembly. By contrast, an Acme insert is installed with standard drills and standard taps. A pre-winder tool is not needed. Accidental cross-threading is nearly impossible. Acme does not have tangs to create foreign object debris. Acme inserts can be removed without damage to the original tapped hole if the thread is intact. To review, Acme key locking inserts are stronger, are less likely to introduce foreign object debris, and are easier to install or remove using standard tools.